Have you seen Morgan Chontelnik from Alma, Arkansas? Morgan attended a Little League baseball game with her mother in Alma, Arkansas on June 9, 1995. She joined her friends to catch lightning bugs near the baseball field later in the evening. Morgan was last seen at approximately 10.45 p.m. as she stood near her mother's Nissan Stanza in the parking lot. She was emptying sand from her shoes at the time. She has never been heard from again. Welcome to this episode of Human Wreckage. My name is Thomas. On this episode, I wanted to bring awareness to the missing person case of Morgan Chantel Nick. As of 2024, Morgan Nick is still missing and her remains have not been found. On June 9, 1995, the six-year-old was abducted from a little league game in Alma, Arkansas, while attending with her mother and friends. Her disappearance remains unexplained, but investigators have pursued many leads, including a red pickup truck with a camper. In 2023, law enforcement searched the truck again after it was sold at auction and found blood, blonde hair, and blue-green cotton fibers. The fibers were microscopically matched to a Girl Scout shirt Morgan was wearing when she went missing. However, lab technicians were unable to get enough DNA from the blood or hair for a conclusive match. Let's get into it. Witnesses told authorities that they observed an unidentified Caucasian male watching Morgan play on the field earlier in the night. The man apparently approached a group of children playing with Morgan and asked them a question. Investigators have not publicly released any additional details about the conversation. The suspect is described as being approximately 23 to 38 years old in 1995, 60 and 180 pounds. The suspect had black or salt and pepper hair which was combed to the back and possibly curly, and he had a mustache and three to four days growth of beard. He also had a hairy chest. He wore cut-off blue jean shorts and no shirt or shoes and spoke with a hillbilly-type dialect or accent. Sketches of Morgan's alleged abductor are posted with this case summary. The unidentified man may have been driving a red Ford pickup truck with a white camper shell, which had windows covered with curtains. The vehicle left the field's parking lot at approximately the same time Morgan disappeared. The truck had a dull paint job due to age and a short wheelbase. The camper was possibly damaged on its right rear end. Witnesses stated that the camper appeared to be four to five inches shorter than the truck. Authorities subsequently learned the truck was caught on a home video by a person who was recording the Little League ball games that night. A still photo of the truck is posted with this case summary. It is not possible to see the truck's driver, however. Two attempted abductions occurred in the general area on June 9 and 10. In Alma, a suspect resembling Morgan's abductor enticed a four-year-old girl into his red truck. The abduction was interrupted and the girl saved when her mother saw them and screamed. In Fort Smith, 15 miles from Alma, a suspect tried to entice a nine-year-old girl into the men's restroom at a convenience store. He stopped when the girl resisted. Authorities announced that the incidents both involved the same man. While the individual involved in these incidents has not been confirmed to be the same man sought in Morgan's case, he resembled the suspect in her disappearance and so did his truck, and authorities believe the events are linked. In 2021, authorities named Billy Jack Lynx as a primary person of interest in Morgan's abduction. A photo of Lynx is posted with this case summary. He died in prison in 2000 while serving time for attempted child abduction. The attempted child abduction occurred within two months of Morgan's disappearance and only a few miles away from where she was last seen. Investigators are trying to learn more about Lynx's life, associates, and activities. He was born in Crawford County, Arkansas, served in the U.S. Army during World War II, and worked for Braniff Airlines in Dallas, Texas between 1962 and 1974. He moved to Van Buren, Arkansas in the late 1970s. Investigators believe he had ties to states adjacent to Arkansas, including Tennessee and Oklahoma. Authorities wear a bleed to locate and take possession of Lynx's pickup truck. They found some hair, as well as trace amounts of blood on a seat, but there wasn't enough DNA to make a match to anyone. 
They also found a blue-green cotton fiber in the mat under the seats and believe it may have been from the Girl Scout shirt Morgan was wearing on the day she went missing. There have been unconfirmed sightings of Morgan throughout recent years, but she has not been located. The suspect and his possible vehicle remain unidentified. The case is still an ongoing investigation, and anyone with information is asked to contact the Alma Police Department or the FBI. Morgan's mother, Colleen Nick, has also dedicated her life to helping other families through the Morgan Nick Foundation. Thanks for joining me on this episode. Hopefully someday soon, Morgan's family can get some closure on this heartbreaking situation. Please take care of yourselves. Until next time. Thank you.